We've done some work on Eastern Figsdale, built a new police station, and it's Mrs. McBrick's 40th birthday. Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and I am here with Figsdale update number 36. That's right, 36, can you believe it? We have been doing this 36 times, bringing you an update from when our city just started out as one little modular until it is where it is today. I'd like to thank you so much for joining us with all these city updates and also with all the videos and content we produce every week for you. It's been a pleasure. We really appreciate all your support. We appreciate all the subscribers. We love you all. We appreciate all the viewers just the same. We love you all as well. Now, if you like this video, please, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe and you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. And then if you'd like to receive notifications, press that notification bell right down below and you can be notified of whenever we do our city updates. So with that said, I'm um, warning, there will be a lot of dad jokes in the city update. And those of you that have seen it before, you know that's the case. Um, also, I am available across the socials, particularly on Instagram. If you'd like to see more detailed pictures of everything that I have in my city and a lot of the minifig scenes and things like that, follow me on Instagram. I'm also on Flickr, also on, um, on the net at... Uh, um, drmcbrick.com. Now I haven't updated in a while, but uh, I will continue to try to update that when I have time. Um, as I said, this weekend is my wife's 40th birthday, and so we are celebrating that. So I won't be doing much other than this video here, which I'm pre-taping before the weekend, so we can go out and have a good time on the weekend. So with that said, let's get started with the update. Okay, so I've been finished with the um, Chinese New Year's Fair part of Eastern Figsdale. And first of all, I want to mention back here, See how this ends right here because the door is right here and it's kind of a diagonal over to this post right over here. And uh, there's all my services right there, my hot water tank, my furnace and everything. And, my, and I just don't like that. So what I'm going to do actually, to be honest with you, is get one of these these uh, um, backdrops from Amazon. And if I can remember, I'll put the Amazon link down below in the description But because these are really cool backdrops. But they're pretty cheap. But get one of those and I'm going to string it all the way across here. So that that way I can drop it down and then there'll be a, whenever I do the, the updates, there'll be cloud backing back here. Um, because I just hate showing all of that. And it, it kind of takes away, you know, now that I have the clouds, when you come down here and you just see the clouds, it looks really, really cool, right? Um, and so I want to make sure I, I put a backdrop up there. So please pay no attention to all that back there. Okay, so here's what I've done with the Chinese New Year Fair set. Um, I have uh, built it out. Uh, so that it looks uh, like a fair, basically. Now, of course, this probably is not... Um, oh, and there's an arm. <laughs> there's a part I need, actually. I was looking for that part. Um, anyway, I've built it out. Now, this this is not, you know, I guess this isn't uh, to exact specifications in terms of the way Chinese New Year's fairs are, because I don't know, to be quite honest, other than what I've been told by by, uh, by some folks, but I, I really don't know how it's celebrated in things. So I'm just kind of taking a guess with, and putting the Lego um, pieces and things like that in here. Uh, what Adrian did was he went and tiled this entire part right here. And just look at that tile work. He did a nice parquet pattern. <laughs> and you know what's funny is he was doing it. And then I said, oh, I'll help you out, buddy. And I started doing it and I totally messed it up. And he's like, no, you have to do it this way. And so, so anyway, I have no idea. He, 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 you know, he's, he's good at that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, so yeah, he did a great tile pattern and we at first thought we were going to keep this just studs, but we decided to tile it in all the way. Now, right through here, I'm not sure what we're going to do about, um, but we'll figure that out. Probably tile that in some more. Um, what we did was we took two of the trees, uh, and we made them into one large tree. Now, the reason I made it into a large tree is because when I was in um, South Korea, I went to a couple of Buddhist temples. And what I saw were what they would call the tree of life. And they had these huge trees right in front of the temple. And those trees, at least the one that I saw, um, it was in Seoul, uh, the one that I saw. And, and, and basically the idea was you go up and you touch it. And if you touch it, that's going to give you happiness and uh, positivity and success and, and all that kind of stuff in life. 
life. And so, um, so I, I made that tree there. Again, this is not necessarily, this part is not going to be just Chinese. It's not going to be just, um, you know, uh, kind of uh, traditional um, Chinese and Asian and things like that. It's going to be Ninjago. It's going to be a, incorporate a whole bunch of things. So we're calling it Eastern Figsdale because there will be a lot more of these, uh, these Eastern style, um, Asian style builds uh, as they come out by Lego. And we'll also do some mocks as well. So anyway, so I added that tree kind of as a tree of life, so to speak. Um, and after I did it and I put the railing down there, I thought, you know what? I'm not sure you can really touch it. The minifig's arms are too small. So maybe I should uh, move that rail. I know the one that I saw in South Korea didn't have any railing around it, but I thought that would add to it. Um, so anyway, so you see, I put all of the booths around um, and uh, I, I put the booths kind of centered. If you kind of go up with an aerial view there, you can see the booths, you walk in and this is kind of the way Lego had it laid out in their uh, display and their suggestion on their uh, box art and stuff like that. Um, but I did it just a little little bit differently um, and I took the uh, the lights and the banners and stuff and I hung them on each side so you come off I made a special light out of here um, hung the the uh, lights and the lanterns and stuff like that so that it kind of you know kind of balances out the fair I'll probably put some more up here as well once I get some lamppost and that's actually one of the reasons why I need this piece right here um, so anyway so yeah you can see that over there I did that as well I put the drummer um, and the, uh, the 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 symbol guy and things like that over there as well. Um, I took some of the dragons, or not dragons, <laughs> I'm thinking of the dragon boat race. I do have that one too, and that will be around. But I took some of the lions from uh, the lion dance, and I put them on each side of the temple, um, just kind of for uh, decoration at the moment. Um, but you can see the scene, the scenery and everything like that. Um, let me back off here and kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to do. Um, now, I know I've said this before on some of my updates, so uh, um, this is... Uh, let me know what you think really because oh i'm just smashing everything over here uh i just smashed just smashed some stuff in my amusement park anyway i'll leave it there um i backed into the table uh all right so here's what i'm going to do so you see this right here right um that's this is the beginning okay this is the beginning to figsdale east and so as you come down this road here you see the beginning to figsdale east right there now Figsdale East is going to encompass these two tables. It's going to encompass another table coming around here, and then it's going to encompass a table coming out here. So there will be a table that juts out the length, I think it's 24 inches, out here. So we'll still be able to get through here, but there'll be a table that'll come out here, and this will be the docks. This will be where Destiny's Bounty will be. This will be where Ninjago Docks will be. My question is, do I put Ninjago City next to the Ninjago docks and and that way I'd have something really tall right here really tall or do I put Ninjago City back there um, and so that way it kind of balances out I'm you know so let me know what, what you think but you see Adrian brought the train track around here because we're going to bring it out here and we're going to make an Asian inspired mock train station so that that way the high speed rail can go through the city and, and uh, stop at Eastern Figsdale now one of the other things I'm planning on doing is once I get this table that comes out here, I am at this corner over here, I'm going to make a mountain. And so all of this, where my finger is, right here, will be a mountain. And it'll be a mountainside, kind of a hillside that'll come down. So naturally it'll be flat on this side, but it, this will kind of give the illusion, especially when I come drop it down onto the uh, mini fig scale, um, it'll give the illusion that there's a big mountain right here. I'll put the Temple of Air Jitsu on the corner. Um, not right there, but actually it'll be right about here. Put the Temple of Air Jitsu on that corner with the mountain behind it. The Temple of Air Jitsu will be raised just a little bit. Then there'll be the monastery that will be raised as well, um, going into the side of the mountain and all of that. Ninjago City, I was thinking about putting it out here, out here. Uh, Ninjago Docks, Destiny's Bounty docked into the water out here. So let me know what you think about that plan.
Another thing that I'm very, very proud of Adrian for is he decided to redesign the police station. Now, if you remember what the police station looked like before, it was a little boxy. Um, this time he designed it, and I think, so he's working on it. You can tell it's not finished, but he's working on it. He's got a first level, and he's making it into kind of a cool-looking station, if you ask me. He even did a yard where the inmates go out and play basketball. Um, anytime he can get basketball in a mock, he's going to do it. Um, he loves basketball. So anyway, so I think that's a really cool police station. Station, and I think it looks better than the box that we had there um, for our first try building a, a police station mock. Um, and it goes well against or with the hospital and with the um, with uh, the the Ghostbusters headquarters. And speaking of the Ghostbusters headquarters, holy smokes, what's going on there? It looks like the stormtroopers are chasing Mace Windu. I guess he's the last Jedi left, and he's clutching onto that snake something fierce. Um, <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Um, well, anyway, let's hey, let's get into the uh, update, okay? Let's talk about some more things going on because those are the two big things: um, the uh, Eastern Figsdale and the uh, police station mock. Let's talk a little bit. Let's look around the city and see what's going on. Oh, hey, look at those guys hidden back there. All right, let's see what else is going on. Oh, there's ET using the payphone. Um, <laughs> There's a couple guys and their baby. That's nice. And then, oh, there's the stormtroopers. They're up there, yep, up there eating Order 66. Um, and it looks like it looks like Moneybags has dropped some cash. He's trying to figure out what's going on there, huh? And <laughs> who did this? Oh my gosh, who in the world? This is a pizza delivery guy. Um, I'm not sure if that's the most efficient way to deliver pizza, but uh, I guess it works. Um, let's see what else is happening here. <laughs> this i like this is this is the you know this is the best part for me because i get to see what everyone else has, has snuck around here and done look at this this barista looks a little fishy not really sure what that barista is doing there and um also i'm not really sure why there's a baby left in a carriage all by themselves uh kind of interesting um here we go. This is a nice, oh, this is a cool 50s scene. Look at that. Um, I think I'm going to do some Instagram pictures with that 50s scene there. But we have Smitty over there talking with his mechanic. Um, and uh, uh, we have the hot rod there. And it looks like Selma is driving her pink Cadillac because she's a Mary Kay salesman. Um, and uh, she uh, definitely is driving that. And there's somebody driving the, uh, the car from uh, Harry Potter. Uh, is there anything going on back here? No, that basketball game's still going on. People still talking about White Castles. There's that uh, space train that uh, Adrian um, worked on so hard and, and did, and, and we did in the, uh, the orange and the blue uh, space theme. Um, so it's coming through town there, as you can see. Um, really love this uh, in the orange and blue. Uh, we have a video that's on this, actually. Um, oh, and there's the Easter Bunny. He'll be here soon. Um, what else is going on here? What else? Well, looks like some people are getting out of the... Uh, Getting out of the train station there. That's cool. Nice, nice. Don't really see anything else happening here. What's going on here? I'm, oh my, well, I don't know what this is about here, but this isn't supposed to be here, but I'm not sure. I guess that dog just couldn't wait, but, oh, <laughs> hey, we have the new CMF um, there, the lady in the leopard suit. With Julie Newmar, the original Catwoman, um, they're hanging out. I guess they uh, kind of feel a bond there. Um, there's Al and his henchmen going into the uh, to the barber shop. They're still working on this. Um, I've been trying really hard to uh, get Adrian to build this, to finish this off, but because uh, this is his, he got that for Christmas, that in the bookstore. Um, so I don't want to build it because I want him to finish it off. Um, let's see what's going on. Oh, there's <laughs> there's. Oh my gosh, there's Maggie skating on the rails. Um, and uh, there's, uh, oh, there's, there's, there's someone serenading Nana. Isn't that cool? Um, not much over here. Whoa, look at this. Mildred, Mildred is taken to the jet ski. Um, she's doing a great job there. Uh, and uh, it looks like uh, there's the princesses of Persia. <laughs> um, what else is happening over here? Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold the phone. What's going on over here? Remember last city update, Batman and Iron Man were arguing? It looks to me, now they're hanging out, sitting down, and Robin, Robin's cooking some sausages for them. <laughs> and some chicken. Uh, so it looks like they're going to have some fried chicken and sausage there. Uh, Batman and uh, and Iron Man uh, just kind of breaking bread together and just enjoying a lunch. Wow, how about that? 
boy, what a difference a city update makes. Last time they were arguing so bad. Um, what's happening here? Looks like uh, somebody with a Lady Liberty hat is sliding down the slide. Um, oh, <laughs> who did? Oh, my goodness. Well, it's Aquaman and Aquaman meets Aquaman. Um, kind of cool. The, uh, the old school Aquaman and the new school Aquaman. And um, what? <laughs> <laughs> the chickens, the chickens are on the surfboard, the the parasail or surf sail surf, whatever you call it. Um, that's kind of funny. Oh my goodness, look what's happening over here. Oh no, the dolphin flipper is jumping up and he's knocking off the banana guy off of this the the uh, surfboard. <laughs> and whoa, the presidents, the presidents are on the shark coaster, the pirate coaster. Um, not really sure how Teddy, uh, not Teddy, but uh, um, um, <laughs> Franklin Roosevelt is going to get through there with that flag. But uh, let's see if he makes it. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, no. Well, anyway, um, see the Secret Service are up there, obviously. And the presidents are in the house. There's Adrian, Roger, and Jude. They're hanging out there right behind the bathroom. Not really sure what's happening there, but I guess they're looking at the alligator wrestling that seems to be occurring right here. And there's some sort of film going on with the alligators there. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? Look, he got a balloon doggy. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> and this, this is one of my favorites right here, right in front of the shooting gallery. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Um, what else is happening here? Let's uh, keep moving along. Um, I don't think much else is going on. Let's see. David Hasselhoff is is in the kitty coaster. Oh, wait. There, President Business and Witchy Poo are taking a ride above Six Figs to go looking at uh, all of the, the great uh, things that are going on here in Six Figs. That's kind of cool. What are the Ghostbusters doing? Michelangelo and the Ghostbusters are going after something. I'm not really sure what's happening there, but uh, they're definitely going after something there. I'm not sure uh, what's going on over here. Now, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add more tables here. There'll be three more tables here, all the way out here. And uh, because of that, um, we are going to add a huge um, display right over here. The Ewok Village actually will go around here. So the, the, uh, the, the tramway will go across and go through the Ewok Village, um, and the tree house and everything. And the Ewok Village will be kind, won't be connected to the tree house, but it'll come around there and everything like that. So it's going to look pretty cool back there. And then, of course, we'll have, um, some more carnival rides that we have the uh, carousel to put back here, the mixer to put back there as well. Um, and just to continue the theme park because, it looks like the theme park Six Figs is going to be bigger than Figsdale um, once we get it done. But anyway, we probably never get it done. We'll just keep on doing stuff. Um, and then over here, of course, we're going to make the ride with, uh, um, we're going to do some, uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do some surprises. I have a whole bunch of sets on the shelf. I probably have about 20 sets in the backlog um, that I have to put through here. One of them is the Joker coaster that will go over here as well. Um, and of course, we have this, this, this bad boy here. Love this one. Love this one. And, you know, some people have asked me, how come you don't run your coasters um, when you're doing stuff? And I don't really know, but last time I ran my coasters, I got tagged um, for uh, being a, uh, a four kids video. So um, I'm not really going to gonna run the coasters much. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see. Let's hope for the best. Uh, anyway, what else is going on? Oh, wait a minute. What's over here? Oh, <laughs> uh, looks like those guys upset the apple cart. Um, hmm. What else is happening? Well, you kind of have to look for yourself over here. Um, not much else is going on over here. Just uh, some things going on at Brickatech Park. Of course, they're still skating on, on the half pipe and stuff. Looks like Emmett is still working on that mower. He's got a lot of problems with that mower. If we go right here and look at the Ferris wheel, you can see all of the sig figs are up here right in this Ferris wheel. Um, they're all up there because they're all running for mayor of Figsdale. Now, I encourage you to go to my YouTube page, the main page, and click over the community tab. Take the poll where you can vote for your favorite Sig Fig to be mayor of Figsdale for the year 2020. So, yeah, everybody's riding on this uh, Ferris wheel and uh, looks like fun. So with that, um, looks like Joey's shooting a scene over there. Um, with that, I'll give you some more close-ups of the 
um, Chinese New Year's Fair set and kind of how I interpreted it and did it. Um, look at that. The people here, the little puppeteers are back here and everything like that. Um, and uh, I think this turned out real well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this update. Uh, again, please like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you're so inclined and share it if you're so inclined as well. Um, we really appreciate everything that, uh, that you do for us, the viewers and the subscribers and everything like that. Um, and again, I can be found across the socials on Instagram, Flickr, and on the web at drmcbrick.com. This is Dr. McBrick, signing out.